God is trying to reach out and talk to you. He's inviting you home with open arms. What you are feeling inside is meant for something, for a purpose. One thing have I asked of the Lord that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. And you have good character, and even though you've made mistakes, you can still grow from them. If you beg God to forgive you, he will do so because he loves you. God desires to support you through this trying moment in your life. He is exerting every effort to ease the anguish of people caused by the tragedy. Try praying to God for guidance if you're having problems determining your life's purpose. The dear God, I'm here because of you. Thank you for never leaving my side and for guiding me through the difficulties that life throws at me. I know that whatever I face moving forward, you will be here with me. I know that the world can be challenging, but it doesn't have to be. You are powerful and precious. I will be on your side the entire time. You're cherished. Although I am not silent in your life, I am aware that you may feel isolated or misunderstood. Even when it seems like I should, I won't abandon or leave you. Examples of coincidences that appear to match up perfectly include finding a toy ostrich shortly after seeing the word ostrich on a billboard or glancing at your watch and noticing that the time. Another important factor is intuition, particularly in terms of how you react to patterns and cues. If you just ask, I'm always available and prepared to assist. Making yourself do it is the most difficult aspect of asking for assistance. Do not be afraid of the future. I am telling you this while I am here with you today. There are many opportunities there. Be fearless of change. It is a chance for development, advancement, and education. Be not terrified of the unknown. It will open up new avenues for you to travel along as well as new chances and lessons to learn. Try new things and don't be afraid to fail because failure is a necessary part of the process. You should not be scared of God or anything else in this world. According to God, because he is in charge, he wants you to have faith in him. Be at peace with everything in this world and trust him. God cares about everyone in the world, even those who have harmed others or even themselves. A pen and paper should be close at hand when you go to sleep because you'll experience colorful dreams throughout the next few weeks that are filled with different symbols. God is saying to you, each of us has received a gift from God that no one else could have given us, the gift of eternal life received through belief in Jesus Christ. In other words, everyone on earth has the ability to follow in the footsteps of Jesus, believe in God, acknowledge that Jesus died for our sins, and that he rose from the dead. Then, completely give your life to him so that he can use it for his good purposes here on earth. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you. Your prayers are being answered. Everything you need to reach your full potential is manifesting with divine timing. Have patience and enjoy each moment. You are on the path to greatness. The angels are saying to you today, let this coming new month be about new beginnings, fresh starts, healing, and more self-love. Embrace the opportunities that lie ahead and trust in the divine guidance that is leading you to a brighter future. Visualize yourself better every day. See yourself becoming great mentally. Build images in your mind of what it will feel like to live the life of your dreams. No limitations exist in your imagination. The vision you focus on internally will manifest externally. God is saying to you today, the next door's opening up will put you in a position where you will never have to borrow, beg or struggle for anything. You are on the verge of your breakthrough, and your comeback will amaze your enemies. Every voice that speaks against you and your destiny is silenced today. Angels are saying something great will happen for you this week. 
The entire universe is working behind the scenes to surprise you in the most beautiful and unexpected ways. If you're listening to this and you're going through one of life's storms or what seems like an unending valley, just remember, God is watching over you, always forgiving you for the sins you have made and yet to make. Your God is speaking to you today. You'll become more aware of how much other people's energy genuinely influences you as your frequency rises and your intuition gets sharper. You become more sensitive to energy as you develop your spirituality. Keep your circle small, pure and sacred in general. You pray daily for their return after they left. Your angel was attentively observing everything. They wished to remove all of your sorrow. The wicked spell that had been cast around your relationship was broken by your angel. You must now pay attention to the proof of our assistance since you requested it. They might appear as butterflies, birds, rainbows or cloud formations, as well as feathers, white bursts, songs or repeating numbers. The obstacle to your partnership was permanently removed from your life the moment the magic was broken. Your person instantly regretted having lost you. They wished to appease your grievances. They wouldn't be able to shake their grief until then. They've made the decision to approach you soon. We are always by your side and will fulfill your requests if you're willing to affirm a tight thank you. The goal of the upcoming phase is to rediscover yourself and your genuine self. It's time to carry out your goals and have faith that the foundation has been laid. Make space for the higher vibes. You cannot hold on to something that is not in alignment with the life you dream of living. In order to manifest your highest visions, you need to go all in on the path that brings you the deepest level of fulfillment. The path ahead is opening up. Focus on the reality you dream of manifesting and cut out any drama or lower vibrations from your life. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you. The Lord promises you that he will never leave you nor forsake you, even when everything around you is uncertain. His love for you will never change. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. You will overcome the enemy as you are filled with the love and peace of God. Today, God is going to strengthen and bless you. When you go to the Lord with repentant hearts, seeking his forgiveness, he will have compassion on you. With his everlasting kindness, he will transform you. You will be renewed by the power of God. The Lord is transforming your life today. He is coming into your life to turn all your sorrows into joy. Yes, the Lord is filling your mouth with laughter and your lips with shouts of joy. Let us rejoice in the Lord for this blessing today. God says, It's time to love. There is too much hatred around. I need you to love regardless of the differences between one another. I need you to show compassion and straight love. I love you. Our God is the God who saves you from the worst disaster. He will protect you from all evil. Let us turn to Jesus and commit our lives to love our brothers and sisters in the world by praying for them. The Lord will make you an instrument that removes every curse and brings the blessing of his presence into the lives of people. So be of good cheer. God says, remember that you are not alone. I am with you. You are important. You do matter. Your life has meaning. You are so awesome. And I want you to believe it. I need you to rest. I'll take care of it. Rest. I love you. We are literally called to fear God no matter what the situation. Fearing God is one of the important duties which God wants us to do. The fear of God makes a man or a woman complete. Hence, those who fear God receive perfect blessings from Him. Today, the Lord is mindful of giving you such perfect blessings. Never be impatient in nature, but rather clothe yourself with kindness. Always have a forgiving attitude. God has made you a testimony for many. Always be amicable to whomever you come across in life. God says, Never forget I am always with you. 
in good times and in bad times, on mountaintops and in valleys, in joy and in tears, in blessings and in trials, whatever you are going through, I am right there beside you. Every day, every night, every step of the way, I love you and I won't leave you. God is saying to you today, I am turning your pain into power, your fears into focus, and your difficulties into determination. The enemy's plans for your life will not prevail. Here are some things to remember this Thursday. First, God will restore everything you lost. You will recover and bounce back. Better days and blessings are coming your way. Second, the job you want is coming. The blessing you prayed for is coming. God is making a way for you right now. Third, God is giving you strength for your weakness, answers for your questions, peace for your confusion, and healing for your heart right now. Fourth, don't give up. You are about to begin a new phase. God has a plan for your life. Angels are saying to you, get ready for your breakthrough. You will go from struggle to success, failure to favor, and insecurity to increase.